Question 41.14. Questioner, could you tell me the simplest and first entity to have both orange and yellow ray energy centers? Answer, I am Ra. Upon your planetary sphere those having the first yellow ray experiences are those of animal and vegetable natures which find the necessity for reproduction by bisexual techniques or who find it necessary to depend in some way upon other selves for survival and growth. Question 41.15 Questioner, and then what entity would be the simplest that would have red, orange, yellow and green rays activated? Answer, I am Ra. This information has been covered in a previous session. To perhaps simplify your asking, each center may be seen to be activated potentially in third density, the late second density entities having the capability, if efficient use is made of experience, of vibrating and activating the green ray energy center. The third density being, having the potential for complete self-awareness, thus as the potential for the minimal activation of all energy centers. The fourth, fifth and sixth densities are those refining the higher energy centers. The seventh density is a density of completion and the turning towards timelessness or foreverness. Question 41. 16. Questioner, then would an animal in second density have all of the energy centers in some way in its being but just not activated? Answer, I am Ra. This is precisely correct. Question 41.17. Questioner, then the animal in second density is composed of light as are all things. What I am trying to get at is the relationship between the light that the various bodies of the animal are created of and the relationship of this to the energy centers which are active and the ones which are not active and how this is linked with the logos. It is a difficult question to ask. Can you give me some kind of answer? Answer, I am Ra. The answer is to redirect your thought processes from any mechanical view of evolution. The will of the Logos posits the potentials available to the evolving entity. The will of the entity as it evolves is the single measure of the rate and fastidiousness of the activation and balancing of the various energy centers. Question 41.18 Questioner, thank you. In the session from the day before yesterday you mentioned variable speed of rotation or activity of energy centers. What did you mean by that? Answer, I am Ra. Each energy center has a wide range of rotational speed or as you may see it more clearly in relation to color, brilliance. The more strongly the will of the entity concentrates upon and refines or purifies each energy center, the more brilliant or rotationally active each energy center will be. It is not necessary for the energy centers to be activated in order in the case of the self-aware entity. Thus the entities may have extremely brilliant energy centers while being quite unbalanced in their violet ray aspect due to lack of attention paid to the totality of experience of the entity. The key to balance may then be seen in the unstudied, spontaneous, and honest response of entities toward experiences, thus using experience to the utmost, then applying the balancing exercises and achieving the proper attitude for the most purified spectrum of energy center manifestation in violet ray. This is why the brilliance or rotational speed of the energy centers is not considered above the balanced aspect or violet ray manifestation of an entity in regarding harvestability, for those entities which are unbalanced, especially as to the primary rays, will not be capable of sustaining the impact of the love and light of intelligent infinity to the extent necessary for harvest. Question 41.19 Questioner could you tell me the difference between space-time and time-space? Answer, I am Ra. Using your words, the difference is that between the visible and invisible or the physical and metaphysical. Using mathematical terms, as does the one you call SN, the difference is that between ST and TS. Question 41.20 Questioner you mentioned in the last session the concept of fasting for removing unwanted thought forms. Can you expand on this process and explain a little bit more about how this works? Answer, I am Ra. This, 
as all healing techniques, must be used by a conscious being, that is, a being conscious that the ridding of excess and unwanted material from the body complex is the analogy to the ridding of mind or spirit of excess or unwanted material. Thus the one discipline or denial of the unwanted portion as an appropriate part of the self is taken through the tree of mind down through the trunk to subconscious levels where the connection is made and thus the body, mind and spirit then in unison, express the denial of the excess or unwanted spiritual or mental material as part of the entity. All then falls away in the entity, while understanding, if you will, and appreciating the nature of the rejected material as part of the greater self, nevertheless, through the action of the will purifies and refines the mind, body, spirit complex, bringing into manifestation the desired mind complex or spirit complex attitude. Question 41.21 Questioner, then would this be like a conscious reprogramming of catalyst? For instance, for some entities catalyst is programmed by the higher self to create experiences so that the entity can release itself from unwanted biases. Would this be analogous then to the entity consciously programming this release and using fasting as the method of communication to itself? Answer, I am Ra. This is not only correct but may be taken further. The self if conscious to a great enough extent of the workings of this catalyst and the techniques of programming, may through concentration of the will and the faculty of faith alone cause reprogramming without the analogy of the fasting, the diet, or other analogous body complex disciplines. Question 41.22 Questioner, I have a book, Initiation, in which the woman describes initiation. Are you familiar with the contents of this book? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. We scan your mind. Question 41.23. Questioner, I have only read part of it, but I was wondering if the teachings in the book with respect to balancing were Ra's teachings. Answer, I am Ra. This is basically correct with distortions that may be seen when this material is collated with the material we have offered. Question 41.24. Questioner, why are the red, yellow, and blue energy centers called primary centers? I think from previous material I understand this, but is there some tracing of these primary colors back to intelligent infinity more profound than what you have given us? Answer, I am Ra. We cannot say what may seem profound to an entity. The red, yellow, and blue rays are primary because they signify activity of a primary nature. Red ray is the foundation, orange ray the movement towards yellow ray which is the ray of self-awareness and interaction. Green ray is the movement through various experiences of energy exchanges having to do with compassion and all forgiving love to the primary blue ray which is the first ray of radiation of self regardless of any actions from another. The green ray entity is ineffectual in the face of blockage from other selves. The blue ray entity is a co-creator. This may perhaps simply be a restatement of previous activity, but if you consider the function of the logos as representative of the infinite creator and effectuating the knowing of the creator by the creator you may perhaps see the steps by which this may be accomplished. May we ask for one final full question before we leave this working. Question 41.25 Questioner this may be too long a question for this working, but I will ask it and if it is too long we can continue it at a later time. Could you tell me of the development of the social memory complex Rao, from its first beginnings and what catalysts it used to get to where it is now in activation of rays? Answer, I am Ra. The question does not demand a long answer, for we who experience the vibratory densities upon that planetary sphere which you call Venus were fortunate in being able to move in harmony with the planetary vibrations with an harmonious graduation to second, to third, and to fourth, and the greatly accelerated fourth density experience. We spent much time space, if you will, in fifth density balancing the intense compassion we had gained in fourth density. The graduation again was harmonious and our social memory complex which had become most firmly cemented in fourth density remained of a very strong and helpful nature. 
Our sixth density work was also accelerated because of the harmony of our social memory complex so that we were able to set out as members of the Confederation to even more swiftly approach graduation to seventh density. Our harmony, however, has been a grievous source of naivety as regards working with your planet. Is there a brief query before we leave this instrument? Question 41.26 Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. All is well. I leave you, my friends, in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.